<sighs> right. What are you boy and girl doing today, huh? What are you doing? Glad to see me. All right, guys, got the uh, battleships of the Pacific Theater on. You know what that means. Cut the bullshit. There's work to be done and serious work here on the uh, rancho today. We got a well pump that's out. All right. Now, I wasn't here running it last night. Jen was uh, watering some of the uh, tomatoes that she put in yesterday. And uh, she said all of a sudden, uh, you know, the pressure started to go down. In the hose, and she wasn't getting any stream of H2O out. Now, she couldn't hear the pump because it's on the other side of the uh, shine shack from where she's standing out here. Uh, but I suspect that our bearing went on that, went out on that, and she would have heard her like a grinding sort of noise there. Because when I went out to check it later, after she told me and I was on the middle of a hangout, the circuit breaker was tripped, the 15 amp breaker was tripped. And when I put the breaker, uh, reset the breaker and went around and turned it on, I heard a momentary, like a uh, turn and seize on the, uh, on the bearings there. So I kind of snuck home today and did some, uh, did a few things at lunch, but, uh, yeah, Jen was out here running the hose, and then the uh, pump went out. Well, those of you, well, before I even had the channel, I had a uh, rebuilt this whole well assembly back here. And it has a 40-gallon holding tank there, which is nice. You need a reservoir. And... Uh, She's still holding pressure. So what I want to do today, I came out here at lunchtime and I did a few basic tests uh, just to make sure I had power to the uh, to the switch, which I confirmed today. And you also see a uh, sensor relay for pressure here. When the pressure builds up to a certain point, uh, it cuts off or else you, you just explode all of your water lines all around a property. So this is a pressure pressure relay uh, right here so I want to try breaking this off at the back with the pump here I, I want to try to avoid having to uh, muck around with having to remove the whole damn assembly here and get that off so I've checked the uh, gold pump I've got a guy in the uh, neighborhood here it uh, does motor work electric motor work but uh, it's just going to have to weigh off A, is it even worth fixing? Because, uh, you know, if it's just a motor, I, I want to try to avoid. Here's what it looks like. If I have to buy the whole unit with the impeller unit here on the front, it's a, uh, it's a half horsepower. It's not a one three-quarter horsepower. It's a half horsepower. It's a shallow lift jet pump gold which means it's good for down to about 25 feet for lift any deeper than that requires much more much more power to lift that uh, weight of that water column coming up so if I have to replace this whole unit here this is pulls up from the well and in there then we're talking about four hundred dollars okay if I have to replace this only we're talking about that two hundred dollars here for the pump itself I suspect the rear bearing is seized there was some smoke a little bit of smoke I saw coming out of there I think it was out of the housing I'm not sure so in any event we're going to remove it this pump gets used a lot this is this has been gone f over four years here when we did moonshining and stuff like that that pump would be continuously running keeping pressure uh, you know to use it for cooling water for the uh, steel and things so um it might have hit the life for it you know other places will use this just during the irrigation season and turn it off for you know six months of the year or whatever we just ran it run it year round here so i think i'm going to go ahead and make sure the power's off here my breaker's off confirm that with my uh, my tester here which i can do turn that around a little bit Yep, and uh, just to confirm, the power is off there right now, so I'm going to um, 
go ahead and try to break those uh, break those bolts and remove that uh, remove that pump. Oh, there. Okay, this is the uh, pressure sender. You can see that that monitors the uh, pressure in the system, and then when it reaches 40 pounds per psi per square inch, it automatically uh, cuts off the pump so that the pressure doesn't keep building too high so I need to remove this get this out of the way I don't think I need a new relay I may order one if I end up having to these things kind of take a uh, these are like a square D product yeah square D right there and they're pretty common let's remove that And just about there probably gonna be a lot of a lot of water comes out there well let's see it might be easier probably have to break it away once we uh, once we get that housing off down here there's still a lot of uh, a lot of water in the system so let me stand up here Rinse my hand off. And it's going to empty uh, empty some of the pressure. Bring that down to about zero. Get that off of there. Let's see if I can get down in there and get the next one off there. I might have to remove it from back here. So we shall. We shall see on that. the flood begin, right? And I hope we don't have to take out the 40 gallons of water. So that's removed. There. That's the way that goes on there. <sighs> so we'll probably have to pretty much uh, drain off this tank, but it's not going to prevent this from removing the rest of the uh, the rest of the bolts. You can see one down there, and you can see two over there. And then we'll have to break away the uh, break away the electrical here. So let me go ahead and. Uh, if I can get a wrench on that down there. Get that started with a little help. Okay. That one broke okay there. We got uh, two more to get off of here. And we should be in high cotton, guys. Should be in high cotton. hammer on that and well you get the idea okay I broke it away a little uh, further out than I wanted to but it seems that's a press fitting on that uh, shaft down there so just taking a look at it here I wonder if that's broken or made that way the actually the turning shaft is in there I also pulled the uh, the relay and uh, it's always good to smell things and that smells okay I don't smell any burning in that so I think that's okay but I suspect we have a uh, seized bearing here yeah it took a little more to get it out than I thought it would uh, and there's the unit there be the unit yeah well, I feel it turning, but I feel I smell it all burned. I smell it all burned in the bottom 
here and I suspect if we remove this cover we're gonna see a little ugliness down here so we're gonna do that right now remove that cover I'm thinking ugly Missy Jen U G G G L Y I gotta go okay all right good luck with physical therapy and I'm gonna we'll see you in a bit I'm gonna cancel at four o'clock one out for, it's too late cancel what the four o'clock one out for you should cancel the yeah that one I thought it was seven you should cancel that one that's a ridiculous one you can't tell me that doctor doesn't work day hours you just always take the what they tell you instead of telling you want to come daytime because you're you know in a wheelchair and all that all right we'll go have a good PT session all right love you too there goes Missy Jen I just don't like her to have evening doctor appointments because sometimes she gets dickered out and I don't want her to ever be in a position where she's in trouble out there I'm gonna sit this down a second, guys. <sighs> Start capacitor that may rupture. If failure occurs, replace cover before operating motor. Well, look at that. Holy smokes. Oh, what the hell is that? Oh, boy, that starter cap went. Look at the way that exploded in there get that in the sunlight you can see that a little bit uh, so wow that thing just is that thing is just charred just charred look at the way that blew no wonder this thing won't turn well the motor's not seized it looked like just that, uh, just that starter cap went, which isn't the worst thing in the world because this is not that old. I might have to sit this down again. Get this off. Pardon that for a minute. Guys, beg your pardon. Beg my pardon. I'm going to have to put a socket on that, okay? To remove that, wow, that thing blew good. That thing blew good, guys. Wow. Talk about ugly. There she is right there. That's what you call a starter capacitor. Now, why would you need something like that? You need something like that because just the flow of electricity with the weight of the water column in there, sometimes it's not enough to power this to start to turn so you need a big initial thrust of electricity and that's what a starter capacitor gives you so all right so i might take it down to uh, might just take it down to this local guy and let him uh, diddle with that he probably has one on the shelf and i can probably have it back tomorrow so let me uh let me uh put the cover on and uh, well i'm gonna leave the cover off to show uh show him when i go down pack up all the shit here so there it is guys there's uh there's one exploded capacitor there all right just so you wonder all the shit that can go wrong well, thank goodness I didn't have to disturb any of the uh, plumbing. Well, what do you say, guys? We go down and see the uh, electric motor dick here. Uh, he's right around the corner. So let's, uh, let's hop in the car and give it a shot and uh, see what he thinks of this. Uh, that friggin' mess, huh? He's probably, uh, probably seen that a couple zillion times. I'll bet that thing's a... Uh, Shitty Chinese maybe. Oh boy. Alright. Well I hope
but that's it because that'll be a pretty cheap fix I think so yeah I know I could order it myself and do the uh, do the work but I want this guy to bench test this too for safety and to make sure the bearings are good maybe it was just the uh, the last hurrah when that cap wouldn't go yesterday so here he is Moody's electric motor shop how do you like that guys here we go repair and uh, rewind and uh, recycle so let's get this baby out this is like the last of a dying breed right here guys I'm trying to video right, that just so to have a record of it there I don't know how well you can see that I see you got a few of them around here huh yep all right and, uh, music's a YouTube so so you actually sell the gold pumps too? Yeah. Yeah, there they are. That's what I have, the shallow well jet pump here. 1.4 Yeah. All right. Man, that cap blew up real good. So there it is. There's the shop, guys. Uh, this shop specializes in the fine art of electric motor rewinding. That's really cool. I brought Very it to the shop it was precisely this. I suspected there may be a little more than just the starting cap went bad. And uh, he put it on the bench test with the light bulb. And where we should have had uh, continuity in that circuit, we didn't. And there's a whole series of diodes and other things. I'm not prepared to get in and do all that. For I think this guy will do a fair price. We're looking at 380 bucks is the bogey here for a new unit. We'll see what he says for that. Seems like a cool guy. He's got cool music playing. That shop's been there uh, 42, uh, 42 years. And uh, like he said, told me that's how uh, that's how Nicholas Tesla started rebuilding and winding. And he said he's got kids that enjoy being in that business too. And he said uh, there's only three places in the whole county to do that he draws people from five counties for big time work so it's kind of nice it's only a couple minutes from home so he'll give me a call tomorrow and we'll see what's going on uh, you know he tried to give it a little bump test with the uh, 120 there but uh, just wasn't cutting it brother all right guys stay tuned the saga will continue